let's go shopping. And join us on a tour of the Goodwill store in Oakville. This one's been around for a while. Then it expanded dramatically in the same location. Um, it's, much, it's a much better store now than it was in the past. Uh, the, un the only thing is the door is still in the same corner. And parking can sometimes be a bit of a chore. Well, here we are just inside the door. And um, you see there's a selection of women's clothing and the jewelry which is close to the front desk. They've actually created a second desk opposite the cache. And they've got some more precious shoes inside here. I mean, it is a, a nicer neighborhood, I guess, in some ways. And uh, we're heading along. We'll look at some of these items in a bit that are on the side here. Like this uh, baby buggy. The jewelry and the showcases that are opposite the cache being reviewed again. Uh, we came in from the other angle so you could see these things differently. Binoculars. You don't see them as often. They do have the bag jewelry, which isn't always in all of the stores, regardless of which um, thrift group you go to. They can be a uh, real gold mine. I'm not using that in the literal term, but of actually having gold in them, but they do have a lot of nice costume stuff, often broken, or it's just been around so long that they don't have any, they didn't sell fast enough. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Continuing on with this tour, we're looking through the fabrics. at shirts now we're going to see some wine that's a t-shirt that's quite an interesting design for a t-shirt and these are just knits and mostly knits and t-shirts you never know what you find mixed in though there's a Hawaiian shirt. So better look at it. And the grays at 750. Size M. As we continue along, we're looking at ones where sometimes you don't see fully from the edge so that's why I have to alter the position of the the uh, shirt on the rack let's see what do we got here oh this is a, a really interesting t-shirt um, not sure what it is um, maybe somebody can tell me it's a t-shirt in the Hawaiian shirt style um, that's something I usually get into. I look up, I look for the the button-ups. They tend to be looser hanging. There's an interesting one, but it's not. Again, it's uh, collarless. Well, possibly a business shirt there, but no, I don't think so. 
and we'll be going around. They've got a fairly large section of men's clothing. As we continue along, not on that side, we're into the shorts, and there's an Angry Birds swim trunks. That's red. I believe is the name of the character. I might have picked it up, but for the size, no, I couldn't do that. Price at five bucks isn't bad. Four ninety nine. A set of pineapples. <laughs> That'd be a great pair of uh, trunks to wear. You don't need them for swimming necessarily, they're just to lounge around, hang around with, just to have some color. So you're not always stuck with, uh, let's say, jeans or denim. And we're looking for some more shirts. We looked at the first half of the shirts, now we're looking at another section of shirts. I think we looked at that one already. And I didn't think this side had them. And no. We're moving into another section. Like I said, there's a substantial uh, area for, for the men's clothes in this store. Interesting shirt. Not Hawaiian, but it's just interesting. Sailboats all over. Here's a Hawaiian shirt. Take a closer look at this one. It'll it'll work for it. Uh, not quite as loud in some ways, but it's loud in other ways. 750 XL. It's got decent prices at this store. Here's one that I've seen with a whole bunch of different uh, destinations, often for the uh, Caribbean areas. Uh, Popping through some of the artwork that they have. Some stills so that you don't have to see movement all the time. Um, being that these are still images. Yeah, we use this guy for the splash page. Nice shopping frog or toad. Pear and a That's a curiosity. Pretty sure those rhinos can swim. Some more pears up there. Interesting, interesting pieces of art in any case. And we're into the small appliances. Recorded media. fabrics in this case, like linens and sheets and just fabric, unfinished. Top of the racks, so you've got some air casts. <laughs> they often show up in these stores. You always end up buying a new one if you go into the place where they're, they're fitted to you. More of the rack on t uh, shelves on top of the racks. At the end of that little aisle, we saw this a bit earlier in a, a pair of chairs. It's 99. I believe that's for each one. 
they are a lovely looking pair. Depends on your style. Here's that baby, baby uh, buggy. I, it looks like it's a vintage 50s, although I don't know if this is that old, but it sure, they, they had ones of that nature already in the 50s. Games, all sorts. Some sporting goods, small frames. Here's some more of the fabrics. And an overview. The, these books are kind of in the middle between the two halves of the store, as are these hard goods here. A lawnmower, yes. Depends on the season. Sometimes they'll, they just end up here. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. I'd appreciate if you give us a like and a thumbs up and uh, maybe a tinkle on the bell and a subscribe and all that. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.